just as many women Get who identify choked. themselves as feminists like Barstool as women who identify themselves as feminists don't. I'd have to argue maybe more do. It's like nobody has the right to tell anybody how to think. And by the way, submissive females, you remember? I mean, call her daddy girls. They put you in a blender. Fuck you, Dave. For, <laughs> oh, fuck you. Let's go. Let's get into it. How, how? In what way did they put me in a blender? Because I wouldn't show them my dick. Well, I mean, you went on the so show. I, on that, I have, bi- on that I have bigger fish to fry than the caller daddy. No, podcast. that's. You I got. Sound like I got. I got. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Call daddy. Out. I got fucking. No, I got fucking McDonald's. I got fucking Amex. I got Budweiser Canada. Here we go. NHL franchises fucking cutting checks. Do you think I'm worried about a caller daddy to you? I don't want to rip out my fucking. <laughs> what, what? This is like how Tommy No, you sounds. want you fucking you, me and Tommy. Yeah, no, I got ominous. I got more kills than both of them combined. <laughs> I might even be double. Oh wow, wow! <laughs> An obsessive. I might not have sucked as much baseball cock as them, but <laughs> <laughs> they got their own fucking. They, they got their own rotation on deck. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, good morning. Ready? Yes. What? For the lick off later? I don't know if I'm doing I have to discuss what? this. No, dude. No, no, it has to be discussed. No. I'm getting, listen, listen. The rundown, I'm doing it with the mic the whole time and a pizza review. Listen, when I lick PFT, that's a sex symbol. When I lick Dave, he's just a rich fucking guy. Big difference. It's Dave big doesn't, difference. Dave here. doesn't. Dave is going to say no because he doesn't want you to do it though. Right. You're so negotiating with someone that doesn't want to negotiate with you. Oh. So how can we make it funny? How can we make this funny? We, uh, we'll make it very funny. Nah, you don't, you don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So we don't have to like, we can keep it. I was you gonna can't, get, you I thought can't. I was going to do the rundown today and a pizza review out of this. Yeah, you can do the rundown I was going to suck both, you can do the rundown both nipples. Doing the I was going to suck both so nipples, both nipples and tongue kids. You don't have to be there. But, Stu, Fuck. you're like negotiating against me. Like we're on the same side of this negotiation. I, on, I know. How do we make it funny? We give the people what they want. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. can't even negotiate that. I can't even get on. You also, can I call can my you dad? Give me, like a big water or something. Yeah, call water. dad. That, you, you have a better chance of aliens like being part of the show. Really, He'd aliens. fly before then, you get on call. Oh yeah. Like well, nobody can get on. Like if I listen, if I get Sophia and Alexandria in a room for five minutes, no I'll bet. I'll, I'll all, bet fifty thousand cash. First of all, that's not going to happen. Right. Second, you're not going to get on that show. They denied like the chain smoker. I don't care. Who, who can't? I'm Stu Fina. Exactly. Did they invent the perfect hour of sex? No, I did. I'm right up their alley. It's true. That yeah, part I'm like true. half. Listen, that part is the true. way I'm going to pitch it to what? Alexandria, so I'm half Noah Syndergaard. I'm half everything with him. Like if we sit next to each other, you know what people think when they look at each other? But you and me? Look at your eyes. The number so 10. I, my, I have bedroom eyes. My eyes are the whole kid and caboodle. Normally people see my eyes and they want to fuck me. I mean, you know, not us because we're like father-daughter situation, okay. unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. But that's the way it rolls. Yes, I have bedroom eyes. I have beautiful blue eyes. Well, I've been you're told welcome. That. What? Well, you're welcome. Thank you. There Thank you go. It's that's an honor to get a compliment from you. <laughs> ah. Coming up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What? What? What are we doing? Oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't get it. Nothing. I'm happy to hear because I think it's oh, a surprise oh. and I would have ruined it. What were we gonna do? Oh, nothing. Well, it's not in Coke again. I think, Stu, that it's funnier if you play it a little bit I'll understated. Do, listen, so I'll you do like anything you want to do. You come know. in and start. Uh, I think you'll quick get over it. Lick it lick but do you it. want to do it? Do you think we well, should no, do it? Well, no, it happens. It lasts no. as long as the pick lasts. We shouldn't do it. I don't think we should do it. No, yes. yeah, we should do so it. So how about this? Definitely. So let's... We, we have let's, to do wait, it. We can't make wait, a promise wait, wait, listen, listen, do it. Let's, let's do it funny. Agreed. So we could do Are it funny. Are you leaving? Am I? 
Uh, no, I don't know what it was. Red. Oh, it was maybe because I ate the uh, guy off the <laughs> off the bill. Um, do you want to do it where I got to do it because I'll say I'm a man of my word, and then all of a sudden you like burst over him and tackle me and say no, 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 no. no. We have to do it. No, do no. The people need us. The people will be so bullshit if we don't do this. Yeah, they'll be pissed. Let's go. We have to do this. I'm gonna do the fan do and then we're gonna do this. I mean, Stu doesn't want to do it, so that's in my favor. So hopefully, it'll be quick and painless. What's the, what's Listen, the, what is the you line? have to respect Tommy, the, the tan. The, look at the tan on the man. You the ready? guy doesn't work out. What, I'm gonna she make doesn't it. have it all the way, does she? Yeah, I'm going to make straps. <laughs> you, want, you want a traditional bikini or you want straps? I want like a... What are you talking about? Like I was going to do a strap down to here. Does she wear it? Pull it up. Does she wear it? I thought she just had it on her nipple. No, it's a bikini. Well, she, no. She... Yeah, Allie yeah, Lark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull... I don't think she had straps. She just had it on her nipples. Well, how are you going to support it? Well, we're doing what it was the Alley Larder lick off walk off. As Dave's giving his pick, just like slowly, slowly go in there and then like come back, you know what I mean? Like just, just like make it look like you're just slightly like licking it and at the end just like. Okay. Similar to Debbie does Dallas. Yeah. Like a Ron Charm. Okay, I need to re roll just because I'm not going to like. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to tail slate after. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Looking forward to this being over with. Shouldn't, shouldn't, have, shouldn't have bet against the Jags at home. Thursday night football. I had Lock no opinion the on that game. It escalated quite quickly. Back a little. I don't want to get it on your pants. Oh, shit. All right, that's enough on that, too. Can we get a, uh, do we have a, a towel or something you put on his lap? We got, what's that Danny Jones right yeah, give it a second. Where's that Daniel Jones shirt? Oh! oh! Pandemonium's oh. broken loose already. What kind of whipped cream is you gotta this? Sit Where back, the fuck man. is Buzz Natch? Yeah, really? Natch? All right, let's do it. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's we gotta not, go. It's not, it's not, hey, shut up. We gotta go. We gotta go. Do one, right. we'll do one, I'll try one more time. All right, all right. Just throw it on the ground. That one. Okay. All right. Barstool Sports Advisors Thursday Night Football Packers are hosting the Eagles. Dave! How you doing, Dave? Well, Dan, I, here's the thing about the Eagles. I don't know that these guys actually like Carson Wentz. Carson, a lot of people saying they're dropping balls. Yeah, they're dropping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. we're good. <laughs> yeah, Go, you, know, you were saying the Eagles? You, were, you had a point about the Eagles there, Dave. Nelson Aguilar, stay in form. Video. Don't lose it. I'm not. I'm stay, trying to give this Stay pick. on point. But here's the thing. Everyone's going to be taking the Packers here yep. at Lambeau. Uh -huh. I actually, despite how much... <laughs> fucking stoke. You're not supposed to lose your composure. I don't, they I haven't lost... Night I haven't they lost... Getting paid for I the haven't show. lost Stop. my composure. I'm going to take the Eagles... <laughs> I mean, come on. What? I'm trying to give a pick here. I like to be kissed before I'm fucked. You put a ticket to Little Home for you. Oh, yeah. turn, you're wiping turn, it on turn, more. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> Moving around. <laughs> oh. No, that's good. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece of pot roast stuck in my throat. <laughs> my wife had to do the Heimlich maneuver on me. <laughs> no, she didn't. Just, she did. You're such a pussy. You didn't succeed. I didn't it didn't, you can't it didn't work. A pot roast? Can't I couldn't cough it up. It went, it went the other way when she did it. It went the other way. Swallowed it. All the way down. I felt it from my throat all the way down to my, to my esophagus. You're saying your wife's pot roast is bad. I'm not saying that. It's too hot. I didn't chew it properly. After I almost died, I went back and finished the pot roast. <laughs> it's good pot roast. What's up, gang? All right, here in Manhattan, let's do it. Busy week, about 12, 15 at the News on Tap. Three, four shows, let's fucking rock and roll. Hot day in Manhattan, I got 19-year-old shorts on because it's fucking supposed to be fall. I'm sweating like Teddy Pendergrass in a sauna, but I'm ready to go. So this is my first tour of the, the head offices. How many seconds will it take for Big Cat to just start chirping me and getting on me? Watch this. 
I won't even, I won't even say anything to him. I'll just be like, hey, everyone. There he is. What up? Oh, look at him. Look, Mr. Hollywood's got the camera rolling him in. Like, yeah, right what in. a Ooh. way to come in. Big fucking. We're gonna, like, we're gonna start already. What an we're gonna start already. Sunday of the shoot. Oh, I was like, oh, what do you mean? Did you hear last time? Yeah, I was tired, but I was hanging out in Scottsdale one night. Oh, no way. Yeah. I'm out in Scottsdale with this guy. Bob 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 Every other time we fucking came, I'd be standing in the corner like a pigeon. Push it. What not is he legit sleeping? This is a bro, this is a dude who goes hard. Burning both ends. Look, he's got no soul for the central preview. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to him for real. Get the fuck out of here. Well, actually, fuck this. First things first, let's address the, the picture you posted of the boys back together at NYC. Is I have a lot of Chicklets fans commenting on my hairline. Now, that was the lighting and the angle of Grinelli's camera, because Grinelli, if you want to bring that one in, that's my only fucking redeeming quality is my hairline. Great it is hairline. nearly fucking perfect, okay? I get I have a terrible beak. I got fake teeth, um, big satellite dish for ears. But my hairline is one thing that I do take care of. So for all those of you who commented negatively, fuck you. All right, Dave, what are your thoughts on the boys being here at HQ? I don't have much thoughts. That's what, it? What, what, do you, what do you want? A parade? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Throw money at them, roll over out of carpet? I mean, yeah, they're here. Good. They should be here. I'm glad to see them. You happy that they uh, started a vodka for you? Is that, is that the spin zone? I'm glad we have a vodka. I'm glad we have a vodka. I don't know, I mean, New Amsterdam started with vodka. I'm very happy we have a vodka. Pink, Pink Whitney's, drink them. I just, I like this little one hitter. I mean, I don't see a big reason why you can't smoke it inside. You blow, you puff in a few times, there's a little bit of smoke. The air is running around here fine. It's not gonna be a bother to anyone, so. I'm assuming that if maybe Dave sees this, he'll be upset. And if you are, Dave, I'm sorry, I won't do it anymore. But for now, I don't see a problem with it, and you don't even know about it, so. <laughs> now he will. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, do I, do I say that? Uh, hello, hello, Barstool fans. I'm Paul Bissonette, and I'm uh, here to answer the internet. I've seen this before, and oh, fuck. He it. literally it's can't fucking read. read. Sit on a cake and eat a dick. Sit on a dick and eat a cake. Come on. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I was trying to think of whether I want a dick in my mouth or my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd probably say the mouth. I'd suck a dick rather than get fucked in the ass. That's I, that's an easier way to ask ask that question. Well, yeah, this cake the cake has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> and you got to you, you put the cake in there to soften it up. <laughs> the fucking cake, man. Just give it to me straight. <laughs> I'd rather suck a dick. Right? <laughs> oh, that was gonna be a perfect one to end on. Thank you. Very oh, this much. is you great. Smashed it. That was fun, man. Especially if you hit the pipe beforehand. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, like you gotta, you know, that, that opens up the brain a little bit. The, 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 the synapses start firing yeah. up faster. We should do it on mushrooms next time. We should we should do every drug type. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll start mixing. Yeah. You you asked me a question. What is this twenty questions? <laughs> How's the pink Whitney's going? Pink Whitney. Uh, okay, so one problem with the pink Whitney's that I have. Yeah. It's still not in Canada. And even Whitney knows that our loyal Canadian following, which is I would say half of our demographic, they are, it, like, they are they're ready to they're ready to storm the beaches at Normandy. Some, some they're, they're ready to storm the fucking border is it because of the law. Like why is that in Canada? I, I think that maybe it wasn't made as a as such as a priority 
as the United States launch. So I'm just saying, like, hey, like, let's get this thing going. These kids want it. They want to fucking suck it back. They want to do shots out of their girlfriends' belly buttons with it. They want to baby bird each other at pre-drinks with it. It's going to get weird. Let's baby get it. birds in the belly button? No, oh, baby birds <laughs> when, like, you take a drink and then, you, and then you baby bird feed them the alcohol. It's like, it's like, it's, you know it's going to be like Bill's Mafia meets a new alcohol. You know, you know what I thought it was? It's in the belly button, you know, with those bird feeders that dip in. Like. Yeah, well, I mean, that I, a belly button shot's when the, you put a girl or male, it could be either one. We're very, uh, we're, we're not biased to any of that around here. Um, is when you put a shot in the belly button and she lies down on the bar and you... And you suck you it up. You got, you got a little bit of a. Uh, okay, so I have an any you, you got a little bit of a fucking Tico Texas belly button going. What's a Tico Texas? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Who's Tico Texas? Like, Y'all want to see my belly button? My yeah. Belly let's see it. Cute. No, Do nobody it. wants to see the belly button. No, we don't. <laughs> nobody wants to see Lay it on us. I want to see it. Let's keep it real in the streets. Do it. <laughs> I don't know. Can I get? Can I strip in Target? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> let's see the belly button. Tico, I think. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, what is that? I, I, I it's hot if you ask me. <laughs> oh, shut oh, up, Dave! You know what it is? It's Look at that ass! Up. Show us the it's ass, Atta girl, Tico. <laughs> What's it? Dumps <laughs> like a truck? <laughs> Trucks like a dump? <laughs> what is that? Wait, the Target guy told me I have to put my shirt back on. <laughs> I want to see a Tiki Telly. I want TikTok. No. Is, is, is Tiki belly button on Tiki Talk? No, Tiki Tico <laughs> Texas is like an old school bar stool. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, is she? Who's Her got a? Hey, let's have a vote. Who's got a better belly button? I think I have a nice belly button. It's, too it's, it's an any. What do you mean? It's kind of gross. Well, it's you're in. sucking it in. Whoa! Right get now. the side angle. Yeah, no. Don't suck it in. Okay, look. You don't suck it in. It gets gross. Look, I'm I'm making a belly now. I'm 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 even proving your point, <laughs> or my point. I meant. So side view. The belly button's not sticking out. That is not an Audi belly button. Can I get some validation from yeah, people I mean, with common sense over here? I mean, technically, it's not going out. It doesn't break the that's plane. That's a Tico belly button there. <laughs> that's, a, that's a belly button there. Yep. All timer. <laughs> that's an all timer. All timer. Hey, but good seeing you. Good chat with you. You wanted an interview? You were telling me you wanted hey, to do four o'clock. Hey, do we have another interview, Biss? What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, you said Craig Cunningham. You said Ben Bishop. No, I know. I said I was going to ask you guys if we could do. That. You three. said you wanted to do four o'clock. I was just coming up with ideas, but like I was coming up with ideas too. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. So we'll do two. Then we'll do two. You were saying four, five. We can go no, sorry, because there's no. I don't pizza know why we're arguing. We're okay, but don't one. don't blame me then. No, don't don't throw Dave me into the ring. So. This is crazy. We're, there's the Chicklets guys who, you know, they asked He's been me. begging me to do a they, pizza they, review they since since he started. They literally asked me for a favor. I put it in the schedule two o'clock. The Bobby well, actually, play what he said was that we, like, bought it. Like, it's just did. a fucking... Hey, we, we didn't we, buy shit. No, you didn't. Like, we didn't buy shit. Let me put, it, let me put it this way. They I, didn't, will be, I didn't buy anything. All, my, buy anything. all the people who follow me are going to be like, why do you have these two nobodies on a pizza review? You only have A-list celebrities. And have two I think cool, going from Bobby Flay to, to, to Biz and Witt is it. not that bad. Bobby Flay to Biz and Witt, it just reaches a different demographic. If you look at like, I guess it's like heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, Bobby Flay. It's A-list, A-list, and then just two goons. So people aren't going to know that. Why these? Well, they paid for it. It's a pink in the end. Just a goon that has his own drink, I guess. What a goon to be. What a shitty goon. I wasn't Fucking moving your pizza schedule around. Oh, here oh, comes oh. this kid into no, the no, office. Hey, Biz, really what I heard, okay, well, because Biz texted me, said we're doing Craig Cunningham. Moved, that I got bumped by the chicklets guys. You guys, like, no, they're, beg they're, sales coming, they're begging me to give these guys some shine so someone will buy the drink. And, and, and then Grinelli, it's I have, like. I have the receipts. I we said, talked this over is, there, though. Listen, and then we talked over here. I said, did this you is not what you're saying. But did you not Stop say the pizza place? The pizza place starts. Nervous. The pizza place opened at four o'clock. And then we scrapped that. And I said, this is the place we're gonna do. It's in the East Village. Does two p.m. work? You said, can we do three? So then I saw Dave. I said, Grinelli wants. And to you do could three. have been like, no, that doesn't but work. Dave like, wants to do two. You said we were flexible when we talked over here. You said you're like, we can do any time. Remember, you were like, let's just do it after the interviews. Whatever you finish. Because I said he can't miss radio in the rundown. You said he could miss radio. Remember, you were like, who cares if he misses a little bit of the radio? doesn't matter. We legitimately Did you not say that? Did you not I say said he could miss a little bit of the radio? Anything, we'll talk to Dave and see if he can do something later in the day. Yeah, so That's don't say that. You said leave. you were flexible. You said you were very yeah. flexible. You said you, you said I'm all right, Spider. You said I'm all right, Spider. Bro, I have the message. You, <laughs> okay, said, you have that one message. Yeah, yeah, I did ask that. Then we talked over here. And then we said 3 p.m. Yeah. Okay. He's not even listening, so I don't care. I, 
it's crazy that like you don't think that you kick 3 p.m. That's nuts. Crazy. <laughs> a rally versus a rally. Wow, talk about a lightweight fucking beat. I've never had this Yo, much trouble so booking a guest except for wet fucking a spit and chicken. Who you got in that? I've never had so much trouble booking a pizza guest with, with, with the spit and chip that's getting. It's crazy. It's like they were begging me. It's like we need people to buy this drink. Please let these nobodies on your pizza review. I'm like, I'll carve out time at 2 o'clock. Then they're like, oh, we're going to bump you. It's like, all right, well, I'm doing you a favor. Like, I, I don't. But we never said we were going to bump you, though. That's well, I mean, I was pretty clearly told, like. That's, I think that's a miscommunication. NBC said it had to be a but chirping from this Grinelli, when these two guys come in, he's got like fucking he's chest out. He's like, I can push this whole schedule around. I'm Mike Grinelli, I can do this. It's like two o'clock. We had a review. What's the thing between Grinelli and Mike Grinelli? Look at this. 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 Look Oh, he's a chest puffing out like a peacock walking around here. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. We're a popular podcast, so I fucking... Got a lot of popular podcasts. Got, got to rep myself. Yeah, I think we're up there, though. I think, I think everyone's just holding it. I think. Let's go eat some fucking pizza. <laughs> Good vibes going into the review. <laughs> For so long, it's finally yeah, I think it's go pretty down. cool, dude. This might be the most, the, the biggest thing I've ever done. He tried I mean, flying I mean, us in like another so place. I mean, I mean, you, got, you, got, we'll you guys come, paid we'll for it. I mean, you paid for it. What do you mean? I mean, you paid for it. For pizza? Now. Yeah, it's an app. I'll pay for the New pizza. Amsterdam, New Amsterdam paid for it. <laughs> yeah, right. For, for the drink named after you. Yeah, I'm not putting. The pizza king doesn't have a. Do you have a pizza named after you? Do you have a pizza named after you? Do you have a pizza named after you? I don't have. You don't have a pizza named after you. I have a drink named after me. This is a big time deal for you. Bobby Flay can fucking take a hike. You don't think I have a pizza name down? <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh, like, oh, my God. Where, where? Show me one. Show me one. Show me one. Show me one. Hey, uh, show me hey, one right now. So do we. We have to talk. Pull it up online. Hey, we have where can I order a pe hey, Dave Portnoy pizza, pizza right now? I want to order one. <laughs> Let's call a place. Guys, is there a place we can order a Dave Portnoy pizza right now? I don't think there is. And don't text anyone, you gotta put no, it on the I'm menu quick. find it. No, People send me fucking screenshots every day. Oh. Hey, one bite pizza. That's how they put it on the fucking chalkboard. Is it a Dave Portnoy pizza because it's a Pink Whitney? Or is it a oh, one bite well, pizza? Uh, is it a one bite pizza or a Dave Portnoy pizza? Thing. No, it's not your name, man. It's a lose-lose with him. Because yeah, you know, he's a good arguer, but right now I'm winning. We're going for our first ever pizza review. Oh boy, you guys are all doing it? You've never done a pizza review? No, I've never done a pizza review. Hey, how come you don't give him a pizza review? You didn't pay for it like you guys did. Oh, New Amsterdam actually bought the ad? Well, let's bring a couple bottles. Can we bring it out? Why are you doing it with these two people? We have no idea who they are. So the rappers do with the lean. Yep. Skrrr! <laughs> Hey, do you have a, do you have any weed? No, I told you, I left it back. I left the money back in my room. I'm excited, man. This is a big deal for me. I'm, this is the bright lights, man. Frankie, a great chirp in hockey. Biz used to get it back in the days. Get a couple, you know, get a couple pimples, your face breaks out. It's holy fuck, bud. You're supposed to eat the pizza, not. Hey, what an idiot! Is that his first drop ever? Wow. What a loser! He gets nervous with some big dogs. What a loser! All right, Frankie. <laughs> we got a pizza here today. Some spit and chicken's got. <laughs> you going on? Over Anyone here? want a picture with me? Anyone else want a picture with me? I'm the pizza guy, but I drop pizzas. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, he dropped the pizza, the first drop ever, with us. What are you gonna do? They no, no, no. Theoretically, no. they definitely yeah. knocked out the cup. We haven't eaten yet. We have not eaten yet. Stop. So, all right, I, I, YP just walked in here and fucking took all the Chick Fil A. What are you doing, dude? This is a, this is a, a an anarch. Crazy investigation. What do you mean? Dave's pissed that people took more than one. I'm helping you. Right here. Now. Dave's on a war path, I guess, because people were taking multiple Chick Fil A's. I guess that was partly our fault. So. Here's the situation. So I don't know if Biz is to blame or not. It's still way under. Who took two? Raise your hand if you took two. Of course you did, Glenny. <laughs> I feel like there's way more people that took two than this. There's not that many people. I know. That's what I'm saying is there's people not owning up to it right now. There's, there's four people who are saying they took two. But we could be missing so some I people. Think you're banned for free lunch for 
The next time I come, yeah, a one. You, you yeah. guys all have a one free lunch ban. That seems fair. fair. Sorry, Glenny. Incredibly selfish people. How many did you grab, Smitty? Yeah. How many sandwiches did you grab? Oh, oh, oh! What happened? Why? Why is everyone looking at me? I just what? asked. How many sandwiches did you take? Two. Okay. Yeah. Your ban. So Dave said one match ban for two lunches. You took two. One lunch ban. Yeah. You take two. How are you supposed to survive just taking one? One's a snack. For someone who's over two hundred pounds. Well. I think it should go by. It should go by size. If you're above two bills, you take two. If you're below, you take one. It goes by how you get fed. Somebody said. Somebody said went upstairs. How many did you take? Sandwiches. Just now. Yeah. Two. You you got a sandwich ban. Ban. Yeah. How selfish are you, fucking people? <laughs> half the office has none, and the other half took as many as they want. It's crazy. It's like going up to like. Wow. Oh, Danny definitely took two. That's Tyler O'Day. That's just like common decency as a human. Like, we have a lot of people here. Maybe you just start with one. If there's extra, you can come back and get another one. Honestly, the most common like sense of decency in the world. I wouldn't think to do, that would never cross my mind. Like, oh, I'm gonna take three of these. <laughs> it's crazy. It's literally crazy. Hey, here's what's gonna happen. Nice. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm getting one game back. Every person who grabbed two sandwiches has to put their name in a hat, and whoever's the last name out has to buy lunch. That's exactly I'm how I'm down with that. That's too. cool. I go with that. I go with that. I see a couple people getting nervous now that they, they might have to put their name in a hat and go down for a lunch. Big Cat took 20 of them. Now somebody. Okay, this is a wrinkle. This yes. is a wrinkle. What's gonna happen? We got more. We got more. Hey, Rick. Big Cat had 25 of them in there. Especially if you're early, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Hey, wait, where's Smitty? He's probably still not full. You're probably not full. Hey, another one, you want three? See, now everyone's going to have it. You were worried we didn't have enough. Lenny definitely took two. Yeah, YP's definitely a two sandwich guy. Because he just took 20 while I'm standing there. I just did it. How many more times? Nate took two? Nate, Nate's the reason I took two. I saw him walking in with two. Wait, really? Yes. Well, if Nate jumped off the cliff, do you also? Yeah, huh. I guess so. I, I actually looked down and I was like, I saw people taking two and I was like, are people I taking really two? Can. And then I looked. I saw Nate holding two and I was like, oh, we actually can't taking even two. Anymore. Yeah. At the bags. And I was like, wow, there's not that. enough for people to take two. <laughs> there, there wasn't enough. Why did you put it back? What the fuck are you talking about? Funny, do I look like someone who eats two or do you look like someone who eats two? Funny, pull the fucking foot. Let's fucking pull it. Do it. Pull it. You may have put it back after I walked away. When I walked away, you chewed your head. That's why I took two. I said, if Nate's taking fucking two, I'm gonna have two. <laughs> All right, let's check the footage. You're, you're a small guy. You would take it too. Oh, well, I got on a ledge. I had one sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's check the footage. Let's go. Let's check Can the we? footage. Nate is very tidy, as he got. I mean, he got he got personal there, Glenn. That got testy. I mean, he made a good but point. But you threw out the accusation, didn't you? There's no accusation. I saw him with two. Okay. But he, I, I'm saying, he very well may have put it back and took one. But when I walked away, he had two. What she's listening to? Yep. All right, boys. We have a major you. controversy on our hands. I mean, I had one in my hand. Turned to my left, saw Nate with two, and I was like, oh, people take it too. And he said, yeah, I guess so. And then I took two, and I took another one. I walked away. So I guess maybe he took, put one back. But when I walked away, he had two in his hand. There's no doubt about that. I literally just talked to, um, Radio Bren was just telling me that that Youngstown Bob got up from his desk and they put four on his desk. Oh, did Youngstown Bob get framed? He got framed? set up. Yeah. He, got he got set up. That's sad. Radio Bren literally just told me. He was like, we put... Chuck, he got framed. This is, this is, we've like fallen into chaos. Who are we? What? We're just framing people? Like, what's going on? You took two. You took two. It's like... Huh? How many sandwiches do you have? <laughs> Bam. Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, what the fuck world do you live in? I was told Would that. you rather have 
two for yourself and half the office has none? I had no idea that was the case. Sucks. Bobby, you take two? I had no idea. Half the office has none, and the other half took as many as they want. It's crazy. It is honestly the most common, like, sense decency in the world. It's literally crazy. We're living in a society. Hey, YouTube fans. Paul Bissonette here. I just got some pretty disappointing news, though. 65% of you watching Stool Steens on YouTube, as you're probably doing right now, are not signed up to the Barstool Sports YouTube channel. Now, that's disappointing, as I mentioned, but now is the perfect time for you guys to head on over and just click that subscribe button. And even while you're there, subscribe to the Spit and Chicklets YouTube channel, too. I feel like a boss wearing a, wearing a tux to the office. I might actually start doing this more often. Because I was doing this bit back in jumpsuit January, wearing a suit every day. The bag. Like, it makes you feel a little bit better. It does. I'm not going to lie. I wore one for my wedding and I felt very nice. Does it look okay? Yeah. All right. It's so much better than regular. Thank you. Wow, and then people just tell you how good you look all day. What's up, fellas? How's it going? I'm PFT. What's up, man? What's up, nice nice What's up brother? Good to see you. Guys. You doing good, man? Doing great. Look pretty good, brother. Look, look at that. Yes, we, we're down to, you know, Whoa. we're in. I just told you so we're in our tux. Two <laughs> legends coming in. This, you guys are the only people I've ever dressed up for. So. I love wow. it. Yeah, don't expect to happen again. He says that for everyone. <laughs> yeah, he says that for every guest. You're right, right? He's <laughs> always in a tuxedo. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I always do. Three, four, PFT. Check, check, test, test, test. Check, check. Lorenzo. Test, one, two, mic check, mic check, one, two, three. All right, we're good. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we now welcome <clears throat> on two very special guests. So, so special. PFT is in his tuxedo. Yeah. They're future Hall of Looking Famers. good. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's guys. fullback Friday. We have two legends of the game, Lorenzo Neal and Mike Allstott, future Hall of Famers. I'll say it again. Is it true, Mike, that you used to uh, train by pushing your Jeep? Yes. At the practice fields at Purdue? Uphill. Jesus no Christ. Pills. In the snow. <laughs> Uphill in the snow. Would there be anybody cheerleaders in the it, G, All the cheerleaders in the Jeep. Would somebody be yes. in the driver's seat? Ready yeah, to get so uh, Jamie Washell, my defensive lineman. So we'd, after leg day, we'd go back. So after, the, wait, after, after leg, leg day, day yeah. you'd, you'd push your Jeep. Yeah, so there was a the parking lot that was uh, for the band, right? Uh -huh. It was all uh, marked out, painted the parking lot. Band camp? It's, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. For... Uh, uh, field, you know, 100 yards field, and, and it actually had a little slope going and going one way. So he would get in, we would turn up like Metallica, Led Zeppelin, whatever, and freaking get after it, right? And push it, push all the way up, all right? Next person would turn around, and we'd just switch off and keep on doing it. Me, I just picked up pigs and bucked hay, and, you know. Wait, I'm, I'm a country boy. I'm from, yeah, I'm from the farm. I'm from a town called Lemoore, California. You, pick, you just picked up pigs. <laughs> picked them up. Yeah, put them cut, down. I, yeah, I ate pig, a lot of pig balls. Ate a lot of pig nuts. Yeah. Mountain, oh, mountain oysters. Okay. Yeah. Mount, mountain oysters. When you, you get a chance to come uh, out there, you come out to you come out to Central Valley down there to Lemoore, California. Uh -huh. and I'll take you out there to the farm. I've eaten a couple of nuts. Yeah, I've had some yeah. Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah, right, yeah. So you cut them. You throw a little oil in there, and you, you make sure you clip them. Make sure you put a little. Little kind of rubber rubber band for the massage bleed, bleed out. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, it's so fullback yeah. Friday, and part of my Sunday take: back. we got legends Mike Allstott, Lorenzo Neal, Big Cat. We're about to do some bench presses. We're trying to get 81, right? 81, 40 for Mike, 41 for Lorenzo. Those are their numbers. Yep. All gas, no brakes. Let's All go. gas, no brakes. Right. One, yep. two, Let's go. three. Stay tight. Stay tight. Get in the group. 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 Two. Okay, go. Nothing. Don't think about it. Like wait. Like wait. Don't think about it. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Come on, come on. 17, come on, baby. Come on, 17. Yes! Come on, give me a second. Oh, Give some, daddy. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let's go. All gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. One, two, three. Big Cat, get deep! 18, let's go! You gotta run it, Big Cat! Let's go! Big Cat, you gotta run it! Get him, Mikey! Call off the dog and piss on the fire! Let's ride, baby! 
Yeah. 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 Go Mike. Yeah. 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 Lightweight. Lightweight. Thirty. It's alright, right, Mikey. Thirty-nine. One more, Mikey. Forty. There we go. Don't touch. Don't touch that. 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 Let's go close. 45 plus 18 plus 18. Ooh, I see 60 right here. Take it out! Let's go! Oh, short arms open. Short arms open. low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wow. I mean, it's a fucking great tattoo. So, like, how crazy is it? I that crazy. <laughs> when did you when did you come up with that? Like when you like are you gonna get his face like Dude, it happened like Thursday. And I texted him, I always wanted to get a tattoo done. I was like, you gotta get me to do the press tattoo mug shot. I was like, I can do it, but it's gonna be blurry. I was like, well you gotta figure it the fuck out. It's definitely not blurry. I mean, no, can you see it again? I mean it's like high it's like, like detailed. He edited it out and got it all clean. And we did it the next day. He got Yeah. Fucking a hell of a tattoo. <laughs> You've got one of the best legs in the country. <laughs> Should not be able to intimidate workers out of exercising their rights to organize, join a union, and bargain for better wages and benefits. Congress. You know this the U.S. Congress. California Central Valley. We need more jobs that provide a livable wage, and our families need more health benefits. Unfortunately, under current law, there are no legal deterrents to stop bad actors from chilling an employee from exercising their rights. We saw this problem play out in a public arena just last month. After an organizer offered assistance to employees at Barstool Sports, the company's founder, Dave Portnoy, tweeted, if you work for at Boy Store or Barstool Sports and DM this man, I will fire you on the spot. It's, I mean, it's crazy. We're in a crazy world. I've said it like five times today. This morning, I have been spoken about on the floor of the U.S. Congress in a negative manner. I had Stu Finer lick lick whipped cream off my nipples and I had a kid randomly show up with my face tattooed on his leg. It's 11.42. We haven't even hit lunchtime. Oh, oh, yeah, closer together. Get off. <laughs> oh, that's what? it. You fucking kidding me. Just choke him. Choke him. Choke him. Choke him. Tommy, what the I'm helping. I'm trying to help. Tommy, choke him. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's, got his K, he's got his KB moves. He's got, stop. He's, he's got hitting KB. me. Tell your boy to chill out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like this wedgie. Oh, 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 just rip the wedgie. Oh, oh shit, get, get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Tommy, no, what great. are you doing? Get those hands off. <laughs> I'm taking his underwear. Oh, no. These are mine. <laughs> Tommy, do something! Tommy's not doing shit. I should have done it. I violated. <laughs> Tommy's getting wedgie too. Tommy, stop! Tommy's getting the wedgie. I'm getting my own wedgie. How are you getting the wedgie? Oh, oh, oh my God! Ah. Actually, yeah, slice my dick. What? Can you type in like French Montana, huh? French Montana. Like H A A N. Han? Han? Like, and he goes like Ha, but I'm, the one video says Han. That one. Han? 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 That's his thing. What's his thing? Yeah, I'll yeah. be like Ha. Han? <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Eating some pizza. Han? French Montana. What's he say? Han? Got French Montana. Han? 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 Eh? 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 Eh?
<laughs> 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 Thank you for the pizza.